Eugenie Kitchen. Hi, I'm Eugenie. Today I'm making watermelon cookies. It's easier than you think and it takes only several everyday ingredients. And it's basically French biscuit sablé, which is a slightly modified version of my coffee sablé cookies. First, in a mixing bowl, I will add in half cup of softened unsalted butter and a third cup of granulated sugar and whisk until light and fluffy. And add in one egg yolk. Remaining egg white will be used later. And add in half teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and a generous pinch of salt. And whisk until homogenous. Now sift in one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour and fold until combined. Now divide the batter into half. First, I will make red dough by adding some red food color and kneading. Um, this method is called fraise, and you can mix without making the dough too tough with this method. And make a 2 inch diameter cylinder and cover with plastic wrap and store in the refrigerator. Then take out half of the remaining vanilla dough and cover with plastic wrap. Then roll out and chill in the refrigerator. And with the remaining dough, make a green dough. Today I'm using both the matcha, a Japanese green tea powder, and green food color. And again, I will knead until homogenous. And cover with plastic wrap. Then roll out and chill in the refrigerator. Now bring red dough and vanilla dough to working surface. Measure the size of red cylinder and cut out the size of the vanilla dough. And roll out to lengthen it. And place the red cylinder over it and carefully roll up like a yoga mat. Now cut off the surplus vanilla dough. Repeat with the green. By the way, the cookie dough should be cooled a little before rolling. Otherwise, the dough will be too soft and won't hold the shape well. Now cover the dough with plastic wrap and rest in the refrigerator for about 2 hours. Now make a colored sugar. In a plastic bag, add in a little bit of green food color and spread with the fingers to avoid any food color lumps. And add in sugar and mix well until homogenous. And this is a simple way to make colored sugar at home. And make a sugar bed. And break an egg white and brush on the cookie dough. and roll the dough over sugar bed. The French sable cookies need sugar decoration. And slice the dough half inch thick. And arrange the discs on the cookie pan. And decorate with toasted black sesame seeds. I love the mixed flavor of green tea and sesame seeds. But if you don't have sesame seeds, use mini chocolate chips. Again, I will chill the pan in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. And bake in the oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 Celsius for about 10 to 12 minutes. Out of oven, immediately cut the cookies in half and let cool for 5 minutes. Then transfer to a wire rack. Voila! Watermelon cookies. They're so, so cute. I love them. 
It's a French sable cookie style, so there are little cracks. Bon appétit! My dad really likes sable cookies, and I also love those crumbly biscuit sable. You can find all the cookie recipes in my playlist. And don't forget to check out my summer giveaways. Nespresso Espresso Maker video contest and a blender for ice blending Twitter giveaway. The links are in the description box below. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.